Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys there. I was just jamming out to my new beats. Oh, wait a second. These aren't beats. They're Kalulus. The fuck is a Kalulu? Hey, what's up everyone on YouTube? My name's Riley Nappert, and welcome back to another review. So, today we're going to be doing a review on these Kalulu all-in-one premium Bluetooth headset that looks, I guess, apparently a lot like the Beat Studios, I believe. Several people, probably like seven or eight people tell me that they thought they were Beat Studios and then they got close and they're like, oh, those aren't Beats. Alright, so like I said, this is all-in-one premium Bluetooth headset. It is Bluetooth, but it does also come with a wire in case your battery runs out just right there. This is a pretty cool headset. It is from Kalulu. I think that's how you say it. It's K-O-O-L-U-L-U. -L -L -U. Kalulu. I'm a fan of that name. I like that. You got a cool name, Kalulu. I wish my name could be Kalulu. Kalulu Napper. Okay, so let's start off kind of with like, I'd say the bad part of this headset, which would be comfort slash like sturdability. Sturdability, I don't know if that's like sturdiness, I guess. Sturdability, is that a word? I don't know, I don't care. So this does feel very plasticky, it feels cheap. I've dropped it a few times, you know, it's held up, so it's not, you know, gonna just break instantly. Don't worry about that. But it does feel plastic and cheap. So if that bothers you, that's just one thing to think about. Now, the ear cup thing, it is like an over the ear but it's just kind of barely over the ear. It kind of like, I can feel, you know, the, the pads on the tips of my ear and the bottom of my ear. So if you're not really used to that, it may hurt for a while and it does hurt me for a while because I'm not, it has been hurting me for a while because I'm not really used to that as I'm used to more space and over the ear. There's just not too much space and your ears do touch, you know, I don't know, wherever the music comes from right there, just a little bit. So it is kind of annoying, but you do get used to it. All right, and then up here on like the headband part, there's a little bit of squish part. Nothing too fancy, just a little squish. Same with on the ear pad thing, just a little squish. Nothing too fancy, but it does the job. Okay, so now it does say that these are supposed to last about six hours of playtime, and I've used these for four hours straight, and they have worked perfectly. I was raking leaves, and I was jamming out some music for four hours. Nothing bad, you know. There may have been like one little skip in the Bluetooth, but other than that, these things are great. Four hours straight. I was pretty impressed by the end. I was like, wow, that was, that was a long time. And these things are pretty cheap, you know. They're not hundreds of dollars. They'll run you about $35 on Amazon. I got them off of Woot. If you guys know what Woot is, it's a website. I got it for about 20 bucks. So these really are inexpensive. And I think you really get more than what you pay for. Usually, you know, it's like, oh, you get what you pay for. No, these you get more than what you pay for, I think. Oh my God, though, the technology is my favorite part on this. You know, screw the comfort, screw the aesthetics, even though the aesthetics look pretty good, I guess, if it looks like beats. So now all your main buttons and like technology is gonna be on the left cup on the back side. So you get a zoom up of that. Yeah, you can see it. And so on there, there's five buttons, yeah, the five buttons. And then you have the power switch here, and then you have the micro charger port, whatever. And then you have a micro SD slot. Now you're probably wondering, why is there a micro SD slot right there? Well, that's the cool thing about this. You don't have to do Bluetooth. You can put a micro SD card in here, and it could be a standalone player by itself. It doesn't even need a Bluetooth connection or a wired connection. So I thought that was really cool and I bought it. I didn't even know, I was like, why is there a slot there? You know, I kind of looked at the details a little bit more and said micro SD and I was like, what do you mean micro SD? And I slipped a micro SD in there that had music on it already and it started playing the music and I was like, whoa, that's cool. So it can be a standalone player if you want, although you know you can't really go through your phone and select certain tracks. You just gotta use the buttons on the ear pad to actually get through all the music. All right, so now let's go over the buttons. So on the top here, we have the play pause button and then like the pick up call button. And you know, you just click that. And also, before we get into any other buttons, there are like, you know like braille, like for people who are blind, you know that's how they read. Well, there's kind of like uh, raised little points in every button. So you can actually feel where the buttons are and which ones they are, because they have a little bit of different little bump. So you can tell which button you're gonna press because it's on your ear and you're gonna kind of just press it like that or that. I think that's really nice to actually be able to feel with your finger and then click. That's just nice attention to detail and I really appreciate that. Okay, so we got the play pause button. If we go down one over here, you can see we have the plus which basically goes to the next track. So, you know, whatever's next in your playlist will skip to. And then next we have the equalizer button. Now the equalizer button is pretty cool. So you just, it has about five different modes with varying different basses, like vocal blues, boost is on there, I believe. Um, it doesn't say all the names for them or maybe it does somewhere in the manual. I don't know, I can't read, come on, you all know me, I can't read. But yeah, so you can just cycle through it and just pick the one you want, which is good for different kinds of people and different kinds of songs. You know, some songs do better with bass, some songs do better without bass. Oh, that's great. I love the equalizer. And then next we have the mode button, which switches between the Bluetooth and the SD card. So if you have an SD card, it will automatically go to the SD card. If you hit the mode button with the little M, then it will go to Bluetooth. 
So you can switch in between those, it's not like you're stuck on just one. And then you have the minus button which will go back a track, you know, in your playlist. Okay, so now the audio quality with this. The audio quality is pretty good. It's quieter and it's not as clear as other more expensive headsets like some beats. If you get past all that, this is a great set of headphones, and I really do recommend them. They're cheap, I think you're getting more than what you paid for, you know. You can go buy Beats for hundreds of dollars, I don't even think, you know, the one, the studios or whatever, I don't think those have an equalizer on them. They do, and this one, you do get an equalizer in. You get all this functionability, you can put a micro SD card in it. The audio is not bad too, which is great, it's pretty good. You know, I'd give it probably like a 7, 7.5 out of 10. You know, I'm not a huge audiophile or anything. So yeah, overall I think this is a great headset if you're looking for something cheap that's Bluetooth and headphones, I'd say you, you should go ahead and go with Kalulu. My name is Riley Napper, if you guys like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you like me or my content, go ahead and subscribe because I'll have more videos like this and I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go jam out for a little bit.